hello, uh, fellow Rowan crochet along crocheters. And here with an update from uh, release seven. I mentioned uh, this on Ravelry and I'm just going to mention it here. I inadvertently misread the chart, which shows distinctly that the sections should go face up and the blackberry salad pieces be worked off to the side. I started my very first one by working up off of the top. I think I'd done two before I realized. And um, then I decided, was I going to rip back? No, because I'd done all that uh, fancy top uh, crocheting on top of it to give me the, the seam effect. So anyway, I carried on, I finished them, and I'm not sure I might even have joined the other sections on the wrong way. I, by, I decided by this time it really didn't matter, but there is one thing that matters by, by looking at the uh, picture of the final, uh, the complete afghan, you see that these three sections are separated by big blocks. One is in cumin and one is in um, avocado. So, for example, if this was going to be where the avocado was going to go, I wouldn't want this avocado square to be right beside it. And similarly, there is two uh, squares here with cumin. So what I've had to decide, make a decision on, is the fact that this has cumin in it, but it's um, just a small amount compared to those two. And there's no, uh, there's a little tiny bit of avocado here, but the, the solid avocado square is up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I do the cumin section over here and the avocado section over here. And I'll just show you a little uh, example. So I just happen to have some uh, cumin and some um, avocado balls of felted tweed around. And I just put them out to represent the panels that run in between these squares. And I think you can see that um, it's not going to matter that I've turned my, my block motifs of four either on their side or on their head or whatever, as long as I've made sure that there's not too much of the one color together. And really it was just these two uh, blocks here with the cumin in it. This little one here has enough of the uh, barn red that it doesn't really matter. And this little tiny bit of avocado doesn't matter either. I think it actually just brings it out. I could have actually switched them around even more, I suppose. Let me just see if that works. If I take this one out, move it around here take this one and put it here well, look at that so now hmm The only thing that has to stay static is this piece in the middle because that has the double, uh, the two shade um, uh, blackberry salad stitch. I actually think I like it better the first way. leave it like this so that these two are block uh, the first releases so I don't want them to end up down at the bottom together like this. Actually they're down there. So that doesn't matter either. But for some reason I sort of like that but then now these two are together. 
Doesn't matter because that's a brown one also. Final choice. I think that's the best. So you can see it all will be, it can all be overcome and really in the big scheme of things, uh, when this whole thing is done, this, the mass of color and shapes and texture and forms, it's really not going to matter. I think it's going to look wonderful. So if you're like me and messed up, uh, sewing up in release seven a little bit, not to worry, everything can be solved. Okay. See you for release eight soon. Take care. Happy crocheting.